Michelle joins us in St. Louis, Missouri. Michelle, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, thanks so much for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it. You bet. What's going on, Michelle? So I'm really looking for a career change, as I'm sure so many other people are. Um, I've been in my line of business, which is basically social services, I guess you could say, for about 12 years now. Mm -hmm. Um, That's what I went to school for. I actually really loved it up until probably the last year, I'd say. Um, Really just kind of want to branch out, do something different. Yeah, but I have no clarity. I have no clarity. Like that's where I'm stuck. Like no, like I have researched and everything, and I have uh, read and I have participated in different programs. I just, uh, you know, I have so many ideas, but nothing comes foolproof. Okay, great. So let's 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 revise your statement. Instead of I have no clarity, (laughs) I want you to say I have some clarity, but not enough. Say that. Yeah, I I would say that. I have some clarity, but not enough. Great. So now let's take these ideas and let's explore these ideas. Because if someone's got ideas, what I think I'm hearing is I've got some ideas. I've I've identified some potential mountaintops, Ken, that I'd like to climb, but I'm not quite sure which one to choose and then how I'd climb it. Does that sound closer to home? Absolutely. All right. Let's talk about those ideas. Give me the top two or three. I don't want seven because I think there's a theme running between seven or eight or nine or ten. So really, what are the big themes here in these ideas? So what I'd really like to do is I want to be my own boss. I I don't want to do the rat race. I don't want to do the nine to five. So I've looked into, like, online possibilities. Okay. Um, Doing what? that being said, blogging, you know, virtual assistants, um, writing, you know, just um, being a freelance writer podcasting i mean just numerous things okay so let's just, just so i can be my own boss i get it so we've got a couple of interesting ideas there and i think you can do both and i think you could start a podcast you could start blogging regardless of who you're working for or where you're working you don't need to limit yourself to that to where you have to pay yourself to do that you can start right. that now. In fact, I would tell you the the best chance of you paying yourself to produce a podcast or write a blog is to start now. So I just don't know what to do it about. That's okay. my thing. All right, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. But we okay, know that's okay. <laughs> we know that that's what you want to do. So what we've right. got to first do is take away all the fear. So there's nothing stopping you from starting a podcast tonight or a blog. Nothing. Now, we'll get to that in a second, but there's nothing stopping you, all right? And it's going to take Mm -hmm. time to be able to pay yourself from those endeavors, true or false? True. So now is the time to start, true or false? Absolutely true. Okay, great. Now, you mentioned two legitimate jobs that I heard. One was virtual assistant, and two was writing. Are you qualified to do either of those right now for somebody? If I had a friend that that needed either one of those, and I could I in good conscience say Michelle is qualified. She can start doing that today. So I self published a book already on Amazon and a few people have bought it. I consider myself to be a good writer. People have told me that. What kind of writing would you do for a paycheck right now? Not dream stuff, but just for a paycheck. <laughs> Almost anything. <laughs> Copywriting? creative yeah, writing i've looked in i've looked into that I, i'm really i really like nonfiction. okay what was your book about so i was a case manager in the city of st louis dealing with um at-risk youth and so i basically just wrote a story a, a book about all the stories of the families that i dealt with all their struggles all their obstacles all their you know sorrow and everything that they had trying to get help for their children um in the system not working okay. so it was basically a, a book on system failure okay great so at the time that was a big area of passion for you that's what you were doing full time yes i did not hear staying in that social work or and again let's get outside of the traditional social worker context let's just think about the type of work i didn't hear that come out in your list of ideas is that true it's not there okay good so the exact i wouldn't be opposed to it i I understand but you're something i know yeah but that's not why you called me you called me because you're like ken i need something new and i don't know what it is you do 
Because yeah, I think ultimately, I think ultimately, you want to get to a place where you're podcasting and writing. So, what are you podcasting and writing about? Tell me now. Go. Nothing. That's, <laughs> That's not my true. Problem. That's not true. <laughs> that is not true. What would you do if you knew the podcast would be wildly successful? What would you start podcasting about today? What would you talk about? Two things. It would be probably two things. Oh well, One, that was easy enough. <laughs> what are the two things? One, music. Okay. Just talking about music in general because I love music and I'm, right. I, I, I'm good at identifying music. The other one would probably still be somewhere within like juvenile justice. Yeah. Where does that come from? Where does this focus and this interest in juvenile justice come from? Well, it's what I know. It's what I've done for so long. Yeah, but you're, you're not going deep enough for me. Where does that come from personally? This isn't an idea. Well, because I like to help people. Why do you like to help people? Why does everybody like to help people? You know, it's like everybody. Now, you are I, just, you feel you, <laughs> yeah, no, no, you are just giving me, you might as well run for Congress the way you're answering these questions. <laughs> That's what my boyfriend says. Yeah, go, you should be run for Congress, totally. <laughs> I know. You're not answering the question. I'm going to give you one more shot. I want you to okay. answer deeply from your heart. What from your past, whether you experienced something or you saw somebody else experience something, what draws you to those kids specifically? Because I want them to have a chance, you know what I mean? I see that there's opportunity for them, and sometimes I see them not have that opportunity. And okay. my success stories mean so much to me when I have given those kids those opportunities. Yeah, but something draws you to those kids, something from your own life, something from your own experience, and you need to understand that. Because if you're going to write, you better write stuff that moves your heart. And you wrote something that moved your heart. So any writing and podcasting and things like that nature, I think it ought to be something that moves your heart. Now, Start writing, start podcasting today, tonight. Just start putting content out. As far as the job situation, if you want to work for yourself, um, you need something like that, executive assistance that's virtual. You can work in your own time. There's some great companies out there that are hiring people nonstop. And if you're organized and you can do that kind of work, you like checking the box and stuff like that, go do that. And get yourself stable in a situation where you're running your own schedule or you got your lifestyle where you want. And that's going to free you up to be creative, to start creating the podcast or creating the writing content that moves your heart. Write and broadcast what moves you. What problem do you want to solve? What solution do you want to bring to that problem? You answer those questions, now you got all your content. This is The Ken Coleman Show.